Hey everyone, it's Elaine and welcome back to my channel. Today I want to show you something that I have never done before. I don't even know if I have seen it before, to be honest with you. But look, isn't that some kind of spine? Huh? How about that? Yeah, I did all that. It's a little wopsided in some places. It was the first time I ever did it. I uh, have a little bit to learn, no doubt about it. I know a few places that I went wrong. Um, but let me tell you what we did and how we did it. I don't have another one to work on at this point in time. But I think you might be able to do it on your own just by what I tell you. All right. So we're going to give it a shot here. This was a class that I took, and it was called Wabi Sabi, and I took it with my buddy Annette, and we like to do things like that together, and we live about seven hours apart, so if we can find something where we can do something in between, we're all about meeting somewhere in the middle, okay? Um, but anyhow, this was, the base was watercolored paper, all right, and what we did is we collaged on it now the piece was twice that size and i can't really show you because it's bound excuse me <coughs> it was it's bound so i'm just going to show you the pages inside and what we did all right now it was stitched the way many of us know how to do and that's the three hole pamphlet stitch but instead of having your strings on the inside we had our strings on the outside so normally where you come through the middle signature or middle of the signature and then go up come all the way down and come out and then go back in that same hole we did it the opposite way we started from the outside went in came up came all the way down and then that's on the inside so then we come back out okay so that's the signature i want to try to keep these strings here separate from the other strings because they all are kind of in there um some people did their spine and their closure and or excuse me their signature and their weaving in different colors and maybe i should have done that i don't know Again, my first time. But this is some textured um, paper that my friend Annette had done. And of course, you know, we all share. What's funny about this paper is I had gone to a scrapbook retreat with, I guess, probably the majority of everybody was scrapbookers. So that means there were 39 scrapbookers and me, uh, maybe some card makers and stuff too. But I asked everybody for whatever scrap paper they had from just that weekend nothing else i didn't want them to bring me anything i just wanted what they were going to throw in the trash so that's what this is and some of these other papers are their um scrapbook paper and then what we did i'm just going to flip through and then what we did is after you collaged it onto the watercolor paper then we put it in a box and she had all kinds of sprays and stuff so then we sprayed and 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 played and sprayed some more and um again that was like an old letter and it's a little ripply now that's some scrapbook paper an old book page old i think that's probably one of my hymnals so you can see that's some scrapbook paper but anyway so i came home with the scrapbook paper and i coffee stained it so let me tell you some of that paper, it was pretty on its own, but after I coffee stained it and muted it down some, it was so pretty. I, I It was really what we like to use. Um, and then that was like, I think that's one of my coffee stained lace papers. Um, but anyhow, as you can see, there's some more scrapbook papers. There's a bunch on this page. And these pages then the next morning when we came back in after they were sprayed and we had let them dry overnight i'm going to tell you they were stiff they were really hard to fold in half and i guess between the watercolor paper and me actually using scrapbook paper some of it was cardstock so it it was hard to fold but i got it done i got it folded 
So then what we did is we just made our signatures like we normally do, all right? And then what we did is we picked one of the signatures, and it was this one. All right, you can see the knot there. You pick one, the front or the back signature, and you start from the inside, and you come on out. Now, you're going to have your, your book like this. You're going to hold it tight. You're going to then go under two or three. You're going to go up and you're going to go under every other. Then when you come back, you're going to go over every other. Under every other, over every other. And as you do it, you just take your needle and you tighten up, tighten up, tighten up. All right. Now, I will say I got down here. And some of my signatures were not lined up properly. Oh, sorry, I'm off the camera. Some of my signatures were not lined up properly. So that's where this is a little wonky. All right. But because I used watercolor paper and had that extra on there from the collage, it's pretty tough. And then also I got down here and I was just a smidgen short on my string. But we just tied it off on the inside. You can't even tell. And just kept on weaving, weaving, weaving. And then when we got done, we went back into a signature and knotted it up. All right. So it's really easy. Give it a try. And um, I don't know if there's videos on it out there anywhere. I, I honestly don't. I have not looked it up. I just, for the most part, just kind of wanted to show off my my Wabi Sabi book here. And I think what I might do also with all of these strings. Um, some of them were a little longer. Um, I I might actually add some beads on here. Not big ones, clunky ones, and not really a whole lot, just a few, and um and see and see what it it's like. I think it just needs a little something else. I'm just looking at this right here, and it kind of looks like my knot is coming unknotted. And uh, this was a wax thread. It should it should be better than that. Anyway, sorry for the sidetrack there. But that was my Wabi Sabi. So let me tie it back up here. And uh, again, if you have any questions about it, I don't know if they're going to do the class again. But you might be able to find one in your area somewhere. Go do it. Go take a class. There are a lot of great people out there that have some pretty cool ideas. Anyhow, as you know, I do a video every Tuesday evening. I tried my best to get it up at six o'clock Eastern time. I have a Facebook page and a group and also my private Facebook. We might be able to be friends. And I have an Instagram, a Twitter, and a Pinterest, a small Etsy shop. And once a year, me and my buddy Annette, we do host a retreat. Um, so if you're interested in something like that, we do it in northern Alabama, um, reach out to me. Um, we're full this year, but I can put you on the waiting list. And I've actually thought about maybe adding another one to the calendar. So if you are interested in that, please let us know. And I appreciate your time and coming by to see me. And I'll see you down the road and behave. Bye.